Hey Trumpets, today I'm gonna to show you how to oil your valves. Keeping them oiled is super important, especially when we start pushing down the valves more, when we start changing notes. Uh, if you don't oil your valves, they might get stuck in the downward position, which is going to change the note, or it'll just take a really long time coming back up to that top position. And so we wanna make sure that we keep our valves oiled so they're moving nice and smooth. That oil, uh, when we take out the valve, it's gonna put a nice protective coat on the inside there, which is gonna help it move from each position. So let's check it out. What you're gonna need is your valve oil. So make sure you have that ready and follow along. All right, so we're gonna learn how to oil our valves. First thing, let's go ahead and set our oil on the ground so that I have two hands to do this. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the one that's closest to the bell. It doesn't matter which one you start with as long as you only have one valve out at a time. So I'm gonna go ahead and start unscrewing this valve. Now if you take a look, you have to unscrew the bottom part. If you unscrew the top, then all the, all the springs on the inside are gonna come loose and the button's gonna fall off, we're gonna have some issues. Unscrew the bottom only. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Once it's loose, this part is going to move. When you see it moving, go ahead and pull it all the way out. There we go, just like so. You can set your trumpet back down. This is what our valve looks like. So you see there's the button, there's the part that we unscrewed here, and then we have a gold part and a silver part. On the inside, you're gonna see the springs. Super important that we don't touch the parts with the springs so that they don't come out. And then there's also, take note, there should be some kind of number or letter on the gold part. Remember where that is. It's gonna be important for later. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get my oil. Take the lid off. Now a little goes a long way. Trust me, you don't even have to squeeze it. All you have to do is barely set it on the silver part. Only gonna do the silver part. We do not need to put valve oil on the gold. Silver only. Now be careful. If this drips on your clothes, it will stain. So just a little bit. We're gonna get all around. Make sure you turn it to the back side, up and down. You don't need very much. Just a little goes a long way. Once you see that it's all the way covered, we're gonna go ahead and set our valve oil back down very carefully. Now we're gonna line it back up for our valve. Now, remember when I said there was a number on the gold part? You find that number, so this is not the side. I'm gonna flip it around. Oh, there it is, there's my three in. That has to be facing towards the mouthpiece. Every, sing every single valve is gonna have a number. All three of them need to be facing the mouthpiece. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put this back in its slot. I'm gonna keep the three in facing towards the mouthpiece like this, straight up. I'm gonna push it back down and we're gonna screw it back on at the base. Do not screw the button, leave the button alone. If it takes a little while, you might have to unscrew, rescrew, and line it up. Some of them are a little fidgety. So you're gonna tighten that valve back on. There we go, stop turning. Once it's all the way back on, go ahead and take your finger and move this valve up and down to get that oil moving through your instrument. And then go ahead and repeat the process on the other two valves. On the inside of that valve casing, you'll see that there's a little notch in there. That is where this little white notch on your valve is going to line up. Super important, remember the numbers. You see the number on here? So this one says one in, there it is. That needs to be facing towards the mouthpiece. So when I put it back in, just like this. I'm gonna make sure that one end is facing towards the mouthpiece. I'm gonna slide it in, I'm gonna move from the bottom, and then I'll screw on that base again. If you don't line up the valve numbers facing towards the mouthpiece, this is what it's gonna sound like when you try to play your trumpet. Hmm, that's weird. It didn't make a sound. You'll feel that there's a really strong resistance. You can't even blow the air in because that valve is not lined up. So you gotta double check, unscrew, lift it, see if the number is facing towards the front. If it's not, you need to turn it so that it is. 
Here's what you need to do if your top of your valve comes apart. So you'll see on the inside there, there's a spring and there's a little white plastic piece. And if you're in class, just ask me and I'll come around and I'll make sure that you do it correctly. Um, but if this white piece comes out for our at-home people, here's what you gotta do. So I'm gonna take mine out. It looks like that. You'll see that there's two notches on each side. And then there's on the little circle, one side is indented and the other side is flat. So make sure you have the indented side facing up towards the top of the valve. We're gonna turn it to the side, slip it in to that top. Once it's in, then we have to turn it over. So now the little circle part is facing towards the sky. And then that slides all the way down, just like this. Next is the spring. So I'm gonna put down my button real quick. So the spring goes inside the valve, just like that. Then we take our button and you'll see there's the base, right? That's how we screw it back onto the trumpet. But this other part down here is also a screw. So we're gonna take it and we're set it on top, push down that spring and then turn this little one right here until it stops moving. This is still gonna move, remember, because that's how we put it back onto the trumpet. So that is how you fix your valve if all the parts inside come apart. And that's how we keep our valves oiled. Make sure you're doing this maybe once a week just to keep everything working pretty well, especially when we start using our valves more to change the notes. You'll have to make sure everything's in working order. If you notice when we start using the valves that one of them is stuck, uh, you can just raise your hand and say, Miss Wears, I need to put some valve oil because my valve is stuck. And I'll say, go ahead. And you'll just kind of do it on your own. But for now, we'll have scheduled days where we all do it together.